It is the scenario friends and neighbors feared here in Howard Beach, Queens, that an outsider was responsible for Karina Vetrano's murder six months ago during her daily jog in Spring Creek Park. And this was the scene inside Angelo Magnolo's deli over the weekend. Shock. When news of an arrest aired on the television screen. Reports the suspect lives right next door in East New York, Brooklyn. Once the news broke, everybody wanted to just listen. To be clear, there is still a lingering skepticism among many residents here in this tight-knit neighborhood over whether detectives have the right man. But for Phil and Kathy Vetrano, who spoke exclusively with PIX11 a week after their daughter's murder, there is now simply relief. It had to be a random, wrong place at the wrong time. And, uh, you know, she was unlucky that day. We as parents would not let this go. That's why we found this animal. From 20-year-old Chanel Lewis's slight physique, questions over his mental capacity, and the awkward look on his face following his arrest. It didn't look like the type of person I expected. I expected somebody stronger looking, you know, maybe a, of a jogger type of thing. Or just, uh, you know, when you looked at him on TV, he just looked like a lost soul. But according to police, none of those hunches outweigh the cold, hard evidence against Lewis, starting with his DNA found under Vetrano's fingernails, on her back, and on her belongings. He freely gave a buckle swab of his DNA to us. Uh, we brought that immediately to the, um, to the uh, Office of Chief Medical Examiner, where within two days, we had, a, we had a hit. Then there are the mysterious cuts Lewis suffered on his hands, seen by his father the day after Vetrano's body was found in the weeds last August. All of this confirmed to PIX11's Dan Manorino. Did you take him to the hospital for cuts on his hands and arms? Mm -hmm. Just as importantly, says NYPD Chief of Detectives Robert Boyce, is Lewis's own confession to the murder, in which the young man reportedly told detectives he strangled Vetrano because, quote, I was angry. It's been reported that we had him for months. We did not. All right. We did a deep dive as far as intelligence gathering, and we found a 9-11 call from May of this year prior to the homicide of him being in Howard Beach. Back at Angelo's neighborhood deli, the commitment to stand together with the Vetrano family is stronger than ever. And you have to move on, you know, or the parents move on. I, I find that hard to believe that that could ever happen. But, you know, nice people and they have the community behind them. Tonight, Chanel Lewis, 20 years old, remains in custody, held without bail, charged with murder.